If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this plain blank shirt into this lovely rhinestone embellished glamorous birthday shirt, keep watching this video. YouTube, so today this is gonna be a quick video um, of me just showing you how I'm going to transform this shirt into a birthday shirt for someone. I'm gonna show you the inspiration photo at some point I'll, ins I'll insert it, um, but basically, it's going to say birthday it's diva. It's going to say birthday diva, and she wants rhinestones on it. So it's going to be kind of laid out like something like this. Birthday diva, then a high heel shoe on it. And I tried to find as close as possible to the font of diva and to how the shoe was made. And this is just some clip art I found on Google. I use my silhouette cameo. Okay, um, my phone might be a little greasy, but this is the inspiration. That right there is just a necklace um, that's on it. But you see how it says birthday and then it has diva and the D is all squiggly. I could not find that font. I'm gonna get as close to possible as I can. And you see how the high heel shoe is like facing the opposite direction and it has like, you can add color towards the bottom. Yeah, I'm just gonna work with it and try to get it as close as possible. And I never say I can get something to be exact how the photo is. I try to add my own twist or try to make it look better than the original. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and press this on. I just used some silvery pretty uh, glitter. And I'm gonna go to my heat press and press this on really quickly. And she wants it to be blinged out. I used to, okay, that's another thing. You can make rhinestone shirts by using this material called sticky flock then you have to cut it with your cutter um the material is pretty thick it's not that cheap and then if you don't have that program to make the rhinestones it could be difficult um i used to make my own stencils but it was very time consuming so i just figured i'll be able to do it this way and this is my first time but i think it should be cool i'm going to trace this out by hand with rhinestones so we're going to see how this comes out um, so I think this should be pretty cool. I'll be right back once okay, I Okay, so this I on. have everything pressed on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully pull this off. Okay, so I have the plastic pulled off. Everything looks good. I'm going to start with the word birthday. I am going to be using a four millimeter um, rhinestone. I'm going to be using some regular E6000 glue and um, I'm not gonna be using hot fix rhinestones. Um, again, I said in the beginning because I'm not, um, sometimes it's kind of difficult making the stencils and I don't have any sticky block. And like once you make a stencil, you're stuck with it. And I don't make shirts a lot for people anymore, so I just don't see it beneficial. I thought this would be easier. So I'm just gonna use some E6000. They do have it for fabric. I've never used it before, but I have seen videos where people use regular E6000 on fabric. So this is what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna use a wax pickup tool to go ahead and pick up the rhinestones. I'm gonna just use some, um, some resin, four millimeter rhinestones. So I'm going to start out um, with the B, the letter B on birthday, and I'm using a four millimeter rhinestone. I'm just gonna try my best to get the glue directly only on the vinyl, because I'm using this again, like I said, as a stencil, and I just wanna make sure everything is lined up and looking very nice and pretty and neat. So I'm taking a very small amount of glue, and I'm just going to start adding the rhinestones uh, to the letter. What I would do differently here is because I'm using this red, which is the color she requested, next time I would use red vinyl instead if I'm going to have red rhinestones, just to make it look even better. But it still came out very nice on this silver glitter. I know a lot of you like to know how much I charge for certain things. This was for a friend of mine, so I charged her 35, but I will feel more comfortable charging someone 45 for this because I did it by hand. Okay, so now I am working on the high heel shoe. I'll do probably about two rolls of red to kind of resemble like a red bottom at the bottom of the shoe. 
So that's what I'm doing now and I'm using a five millimeter rhinestone for this area. Okay, so what I did off camera is I added all the clear and now I'm just putting the little final touches of the red. This is almost finished. It actually didn't take me that long at all. Um, but if it's your first time, just keep a nice steady flow. Uh, but this is something that you can definitely do for yourself as a birthday shirt or just to wear anywhere. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of the rhinestone embellished t-shirt. I think it came out very nice and it looks like um, something that you could purchase online or from the store. This is something you could easily make as a birthday gift for someone or you can do it for yourself. Um, what I did was just use some uh, heat transfer vinyl. That's something that you can do if you have like a Cricut or if you have a Silhouette Cameo and just take the time to just add the rhinestones on it one by one. If you get a nice uh, pace going, it doesn't take that long. I gave her the shirt since this video was recorded and she absolutely loved it. It was a big hit. And you can use whatever color vinyl that you want. And I think it looks better if you add the same type of color rhinestone to the same color of the vinyl that you're using. So this can be great for all occasions. And you just download some clip art um, from Google or wherever you get your images from. You just cut it out. It's really simple. So I really think this was um, very pretty and she liked it quite a bit. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or if you found it very helpful or received some cool inspiration from it. Um, share it on Facebook. And also be sure to check out my other playlist of me rhinestone embellishing other things as well. And check out the links in the description for rhinestones, uh, wax pickup sticks, um, or rhinestone vendors list if you need one of those as well. I have that information available. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Subscribe if you want to. If not, thanks you guys so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.